Hi everybody, welcome to Why Buy. This is the Land Rover Defender TRX. You might have seen me in my other video, Atlantic 2 Tugboat. I'm kind of a RC enthusiast, but ultimately I'm a ready to run enthusiast. This means that when I buy something that's RC, I want to be able to open up the box, plug in the battery and get rocking. So ultimately making a choice when I wanted an RC off-road vehicle. There are thousands of choices. You can get everything from a Walmart little RC truck or something like that from New Bright. You can go to your hobby shop and get some Axial. There's a million other different brands. What drew me to the Traxxas was I went to my local hobby shop, the same hobby shop where I got my tugboat, and I had seen Traxxas all over the place. I had also seen all of the replacement parts that they had. So a couple questions come to mind. Is this thing going to break? Is that why they have so many replacement parts? Or am I going to get this thing serviced if something does happen? Is it a trustworthy brand? So I kind of did my own homework, even on YouTube, watching some other people review this vehicle and other Traxxas vehicles. First impressions, it was pretty cool. I came home, my partner was with me. She kind of said she had a surprise for me and I was like, oh my gosh, like, well, what could it be, right? And this is big cardboard box. And I'm like, no way, is it actually? And so I kind of cut open the box. I'm really excited. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. It's Christmas, but this happened in July. And so I finally open up the box. I see it's a Traxxas TRX4. First thing that came to my mind, I'm like, did she get the right color? I wanted gray. <laughs> Slid open the box. I slide this thing out. It's completely assembled. It comes kind of as you see it right now. Um, but obviously there's no battery in there and the remote's kind of like sitting behind it. So you pull it out and it's literally the truck is ready to go. You, all you have to do is connect a battery and put in some batteries into your remote and you can start playing with it. And that's exactly what I did. I started setting up books all over our living room. I started crawling over her feet. I started knocking anything I could on the floor just so as that I could crawl over it with my truck and watch how cool it was. I was sending videos to my dad. I was sending videos to my cousin, my, my brother and my friends around saying, dude, check this thing out. We got to go and play with this bad boy. I, I love being outside and if there's something else that I can uh, do while I'm outside, you know, by myself as well. Um, I love driving my car around. It's just a, a good way to decompress. I can just focus on a rock and how my car is going to get over the rock. I'm not worried about work. I'm not worried about what's going on at home. I'm sure as heck not worried about what's going on globally. I'm just having fun playing with my car in the park. The reason why I, I, I love Ready to Run is because I just want to play with the thing. Um, our, playing with RC cars and RC boats and all that kind of stuff, um, it's kind of like a little, little bit of an escape. It's fun, it's something that when I, grew up, when I was growing up, I love playing with little remote control cars, kind of brings me back to that being a kid again. And ultimately, with a busy life, having a ready to run product means that I turn the key and go. I don't have a dog, I don't have an animal or anything like that, I do have a koi fish, but I like taking my Traxxas TRX4 for a walk. And when I do take it for a walk, I can do some pretty interesting things, as you guys have probably seen. You know, I get a mix of terrain, so it's whether it's gravel, asphalt, um, some rocks, jumps, whatever it might be. Kind of gives me my own little world to play in. Um, one of the coolest things is uh, when I'm just cruising down, so I have to do a little bit of a walk before I can get anywhere where I want to play with this thing. So I'm just cruising around the sidewalk and everything, and every little kid, or even adults, are like, what is that? Where, where did you get that? I, I, uh, is, that a, is that a real Land Rover? I'm like, no, it's, it's an RC car, but it sure does look like one. Uh, typically, this model um, with remote, not including battery, is typically in the seven to eight hundred dollar range. I have seen them on sale for somewhere um, just less than six hundred dollars, but typically that's kind of where you're going to spend it. So it's it's a considerable investment to kind of um, get out and start playing with an RC car. You kind of have to say to yourself, "Am I fully going to jump in and invest this kind of money just for an RC car?" It's a tough decision to make. I know there's a lot of different other models out there and I'm sure 
anyone who's played with an RC car before has said, hey, listen, this is great, but uh, you know, it, it's just an RC car, it, it motors around and all that kind of stuff. Once you pick up the controller on something like this and you actually see the kind of cool things that you can do, you will not regret that investment whatsoever. You can play with this thing in all seasons. It has a fully um, waterproof system. So with the servos, the uh, speed control, the motor and transmission, everything's waterproof so you can play in the snow. Obviously, I'd recommend after playing with it, you dry it out, make sure it's clean and all that kind of stuff. Nobody wants anything to seize. But with that being said, you can play with this thing all the time. So a couple of cool features I love about this vehicle and ultimately kind of led to a deciding factor um, when I purchased it was it looks legit. It looks like a real truck. Starting from this big bumper that it has and this, I guess you'd call it bull bar or something like that with some nice shackles that ultimately I know they're plastic but could be replaced with metal parts. I thought that was pretty slick too. Moving on into the hood, it looks like a real Land Rover Defender. I mean, um, I don't know if you're, you're familiar with that iconic look of the aluminum body and kind of square boxy looking vehicle. I just fell in love with it. I mean, it has the Defender decal on it. If you look even close enough, right behind the like where this, the winch is supposed to be, it even has that little trademark Land Rover sticker, kind of like right in the grill where you might find it on a real Land Rover Defender. Um, again, the headlights, unfortunately, they do not um, illuminate when you first buy it, So, but that is an option that you can get. Um, fairly cheap, but I, I might do it, might not. Um, I just love the thing as it is. Uh, moving on into the uh, windshield or windscreen, um, it is a decal, it's solid black. Still, I think it looks really good. I know that some uh, models do come with like kind of a clear windshield. I don't think that's such a great idea because ultimately you're looking into nothing. There's nothing inside. So with it all being blacked out, it kind of leaves that uh, little mystery behind it and ultimately makes it look a little sharper. Um, another cool thing, there's a fake uh, hood scoop here or snorkel. Um, so, I mean, if you did want to take it underwater, it'd be great. Um, look at these big beefy tires. I love that. They're super squishy, which ultimately gives it that extra traction too. So if you're kind of like doing some rock crawling or maybe climbing through some dirt or something like that, it hugs the ground a lot better. One of the deciding factors when I purchased this thing was um, not necessarily just the aesthetics, because the aesthetics is great, but what it holds underneath it. This thing has locking differentials and portal axles. For someone who might not be familiar with what that means, a locking differential means that when I go into four wheel drive, I don't have a limited slip differential. So I don't have just one wheel spinning and the other one not spinning. And when it's locked, it's locked. So when I get four wheel drive, I get a rock in four wheel drive. The portal axles means that I can have a lot more ground clearance. So if you've ever seen those guys with those big jacked up trucks or something like that, and you're like, well, how's that gonna work? He still has his axle dragging, you know, six inches off the ground. This bad boy with the portal axles, I get that extra little bit of ground clearance so I can climb over all those cool kind of rocks and go over stumps, branches, whatever it might be. That was a real deciding factor, which meant that I could go anywhere I wanted with this bad boy. So one of the coolest surprises I had when I first started playing with this thing was I play with a lot of other RC cars. They're kind of cool, you know, they drive around, all that kind of stuff. But once you start getting into like the thick grass, um, you know, it kind of loses momentum and it gets stuck or, you know, the, the wheels start binding up or something like that. So I started going, half lock the diffs and put it in low range and this thing was like a tank. It did not stop going up the hill. So one of the recommendations I make, um, if you're gonna dive into it and get yourself a really cool RC car like the Traxxas TRX4, I'd recommend kind of pricing out a package for it or perhaps even going to your local hobby shop and kind of looking, hey, listen, how much am I actually gonna get into this once I buy a big LiPo battery and a charger for that LiPo battery? So I'm currently using the charger um, that I use for my other LiPo batteries for my RC tugboat and other toys. Um, but I did have to get a specific adapter to charge Traxxas batteries. Price it out, make sure you kind of know what you're totally gonna get into because I already did have a charger that would work. I just had to get a special adapter for it. 
So with this being a Traxxas and a model from Traxxas, they have a lot of aftermarket parts. Like I mentioned before, if you want to change the headlights, if you want to add on any kind of uh, light bar or something like that, you can even change the rims and tires for it. Very simple to do, just one nut. You go to your local hobby shop or even order directly from them online or other hobby stores and they'll fit uh, specifically. What's really cool too is in the manual, it gives you a parts list as to um, what other parts will fit onto your Traxxas. So there's a specific part ID. If something ever does fail, crack or break, you just say, hey, listen, I'm looking for this part. It's detailed. You can order a new one. My absolute favorite thing about this RC car or Traxxas TRX4 is it looks like a real Land Rover Defender. I even bumped into a guy while I was driving it to the park and he said his buddy owns some kind of car dealership. They had a Land Rover Defender. He wanted to show his buddy, he wanted to calm down because he's like, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. You have gotta come down and see this thing. It looks like the one in the shop. So for me, having something that looks realistic, much like the tugboat that I purchased, I had to have it. I don't want it to look like a toy, I want it to look like a real thing. So if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe or show your support. Hit that support button, throw a thumbs up for me, and we'll see you next time. It has a Land Rover. <laughs> or worried about my koi fish. Um, <laughs> what? I have a koi fish. I have koi fish. <laughs> so if you thought this video was helpful, please like, add, and subscribe. <laughs> please like, add, and subscribe. Please like, and add. What? Did I say that again? Oh my god! Simply, on every Traxxas it comes standard. <laughs> the old slipperoo. Excellent side angle shot. Even enough room to just hit record. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. So when we thought about filming this video, um, YBuy asked me, hey, listen, we need to go to some sort of location that's unique. So I thought to myself, let me go to the garage, let me do some welding, and I did up a bit of this chain. Um, as you can see, this is from a ship, uh, not my tugboat. 